Our book today is How to Be Less Stupid About Race by Crystal M. Fleming. This is from the introduction, The Origins of Racial Stupidity. It opens with a, an epigraph from Martin Luther King Jr. It is an aspect of their sense of superiority that the white people of America believe they have so little to learn. From the introduction. Hundreds of years after establishing a nation on colonial genocide and chattel slavery, people are kind of sort of maybe possibly waking up to the sad reality that our racial politics are still garbage. But as our society increasingly confronts the social realities of race, we're faced with a barrage of confusing developments. How could the same country that voted twice for an, for an Ivy League educated black president end up electing an overt racist who can barely string together two coherent sentences? Why do white liberals who, don't, who can't even confront their Trump supporting friends and families think that they can lead the resistance? Democrats who don't care about mass deportations or the treatment of Muslims under Obama suddenly care now that a Republican is, is in charge. While black and brown people are being crushed by systemic white supremacy, the rapper Common thinks we can all get over a race by extending a hand in love. Don Lemon still has a job. Rachel Dolezal exists. Everyone has an opinion about race, but 99% of the population has never studied it. And even many textbooks that talk about race are filled with lies, inaccuracies, and so-called alternative facts. With so much racial ignorance in the world, how can we ever find our way to that glorious mountaintop Martin Luther King Jr. glimpsed right before a white racist killed him? Although race is an inherently div divisive topic, the cause of continual controversy, Facebook feuds, and endless debates, there is exactly one thing and one thing only that we can probably all touch and agree on regardless of our racial or ethnic identity, gender, age, political beliefs, or shoe size and that is that we are surrounded by racial stupidity. From the White House to Waffle House, from the classroom to the internet comments section, from the television to the tiki torch aisle of your local Pier 1, we are surrounded and at a times astounded by the ignorant and dangerous ideas people express about this thing called race. Why are so many people so incredibly confused and misinformed about race? It's the white supremacy, stupid. As I'll demonstrate throughout this book, one of the main consequences of centuries of racism is that we are all systemically exposed to racial stupidity and racist beliefs that warp our understandings of society, history, and ourselves. In other words, living in a racist society socializes us to be stupid about race. Of course, as you well know, some people are more afflicted by racial stupidity than others. We'll get into the nation, nature of those variations a bit later. For now, I want to emphasize just how widespread and ubiquitous racial ignorance really is. Politicians routinely spout racist distortions of reality and lie about the existence and nature of racial oppression. Absurd racial stereotypes pervade our various forms of media. And as noted, textbooks systemically misrepresent racial history in ways that minimize or erase racism altogether. And all too often, teachers themselves are undereducated or miseducated about the history and ongoing realities of racial oppression. How to Be Stup Less Stupid About Race explores precisely how and why racial stupidity has become so terribly pervasive and examines the cesspool of silly ideas, half-truths, and ridiculous misperceptions that have thoroughly corrupted the way race and racism are represented in the classroom, pop culture, media, and politics. The key idea that I'll come back to again and again is that living in a racist society exposes us all to absurd and actually harmful ideas that in turn help maintain the racial status quo. Drawing from my own experience as an educator and as someone who continually confronts my own racial ignorance, I'll also share some concrete steps that you as well as your racist friends, ignorant family members, and clueless coworkers can take to become less stupid about race and better equipped to detect and dismantle racial oppression. While I don't personally believe in post-racial utopias and I don't put a lot of faith in reaching glorious mountaintops, I know for sure that the very first step in challenging racism is having a clear understanding of what it actually is. Not only are we surrounded by stupid ideas about race, we are even surrounded by stupid ideas about how to talk about race. In May 2015, Starbucks launched a doomed campaign called Race Together to encourage baristas and coffee drinkers around the country to have a conversation about race. Although many might have mistaken the campaign for a satirical entry on The Onion, Starbucks announced that it, its employees had the option of arbitrarily writing the hashtag Race Together 
on a random customer's cup. Aspiring coffee drinkers minding their own damn business would then be obliged to say something to the barista about race. After a steady stream of criticism and mockery on social media by anti-racists across the color spectrum, yours truly included, the company eventually backpedaled and canceled the initiative. To some, encouraging random people to talk about race sounds like a step in the right direction. But we don't need more profit-driven corporations to take a stand and say that race is a legitimate and important topic of discussion. Rather than thinking about the best practices that might foster a productive discussion about race, the company executives thought best to just sort of tell everyone to figure it out without providing any educational resources, training, or guidelines whatsoever. In a letter to employees, Starbucks chairman Howard Schultz stated that he conceived of the idea, quote, not to point fingers and not because we have answers, but because staying, staying silent is not who we are. How to be less stupid about race by Crystal Fleming.